can make a little ghost in the night. He's got a lot of personality. He needs a cool name. You have ghost shrimp. This thing had to be filmed in just all these weird segments. What's going on today, guys? I want some fish. So we are at a tropical reef and I'm gonna go in there. I don't know what kind of fish I'm gonna get, but they do get their shipments on Tuesdays and Thursdays, yesterday being Tuesday. Hopefully they'll have some new stuff. It helps the speaker lead his audience into the scene he described by creating an imaginary picture. Usually it's something that moves. Back in the car, I bought something insane. Something I didn't think I was ever going to buy. Something I didn't think I was ever going to find, especially at a decent price. A seasonal fish, they only get them in like once or twice a year, and they can only get three at a time. So I bought one of them. It's gonna be a crazy addition to the 780 gallon pond, which should have probably already tell you that it is going to be an absolute beast. Probably one of the biggest fish I've ever kept. We also bought another bottom dwelling monster. I cannot get let's go home let's get these things in the tank guys so we're back at the house i've had these two brand new fish floating in our 150 gallon aquarium now for about 35 40 minutes we're going to go ahead and pull them out here today let me actually shut this thing down so we can get some better video so guys i'm everything you just saw was actually a week ago we had a few challenges i'm going to kind of walk you through those uh, as this video progresses so this thing had to be filmed in just all these weird segments. I thought it was gonna be a one day and done type video, but it turned out to be far from that. They were acclimated. We um, put them in the tank. So here's that footage for you right now. All right, guys, I got my hand here to block the second fish that we're putting in here so I don't spoil it. If you're wondering why I have water bottles on my lids, guys, it's to weigh them down. We have some jumpers in here, but look at this beautiful tiger shovel nose that they just got in yesterday. He's about four and a half, five inches long. Uh, I've had tiger shovel nose before at a much smaller size and they did not do well. They're pretty sensitive fish, but this will be the first bottom dwelling fish we have in this grow out tank. So I'm super excited. So uh, let's get him on out of the bag and get him in the tank. I'm stoked. All right, here he is guys again, check that out. Beautiful markings, looks nice and healthy, thick. All right, got him here in the net. It's time for fish number two. In this bag, here, hold on, let me just, let me put it up. See if you can guess what fish that is. Silver, just looks like a silver fish. This is an endotarpon, guys. All right, before the fish, please hit that dislike button. Look, guys, there's a huge difference for people who don't know anything about Tarpon. Now, this is the first Indo tarpon I've ever kept. The Atlantic tarpon is probably the first thing that pops into people's mind. Oh my God, why would somebody buy a tarpon? They get eight feet long plus. That is an Atlantic tarpon, the giant sport fish that's so sought after. That's an Atlantic tarpon. This is a Pacific Indo tarpon, which looks identical to the Atlantic tarpon. It's just smaller. Consider it kind of a dwarf species, except for the fact that it still gets massive 36 plus inches in captivity but they're an amazing fish and they're going to go great with the um, community that we're building already the monster fish community and the humongous ponds one pond that's going to be the biggest pond i've ever built that's getting blueprinted right now that's kind of a surprise um it's going to be epic so don't you worry you will not end up seeing this fish at a fish rescue it's time to get this bad boy out of the bag now um i do expect some challenges 
with getting this guy comfortable and to eat. He was only at a tropical reef for about 48 hours. So still nice and gentle. There he goes. Let's get a shot of him. All right, guys. So we got the blue lights are on right now to try and aid in keeping these new arrivals calm. Right there, we're looking at that endo tarp and that thing is sick. Still haven't, hasn't developed any of its yellow and red trim or the tassel on his dorsal fin. He's got, the tassel is super small. So the fact that we're gonna be able to watch this thing grow out is just incredible. So as soon as these guys have the night to chill, guys, we'll come out here when the white lights are on and see how they're doing. Uh, silver arrow, we'll make a little ghost in the night. Albino Oscar, I'm loving it. I, I think I even mentioned it in the video. One of my first worries was, is this fish gonna eat? It had just came from the importer, wherever the importer was, and uh, went to a tropical reef systems, and then got bagged up the next day, transported yet again, put in my sy uh, system. So I didn't expect him to eat right away. So I knew it was gonna be a little bit of a challenge. We tried frozen food, we tried pellet food, wouldn't eat anything, shrimp, tilapia, um, brine shrimp, nothing. So we had to do some more stuff. Okay guys, so a lot has changed over, I think we're on day number eight now since the very beginning of this video, a lot has changed. You can see the 150 is actually pretty cloudy. Let me show you why. So initially I wanted to run bare bottom in this tank, but what I could not stand was seeing the buildup, the tritus and stuff on the bottom glass. It just was like impossible to keep it looking good. So um, you also notice there's actually less fish in here. So let's start off with the food. Here's the tarpon right here. See, very, very active. He's active all day long, always swimming back and forth. Um, I have still not seen him eat, but his he doesn't, look to have a sunken stomach. He doesn't look like he's thinning. So I don't know if he's eating and he's got a super high metabolism. Like I said, we tried frozen food. We tried fro uh, frozen shrimp. We tried frozen tilapia. We tried um, Hikari frozen uh, cubes. Nothing, wouldn't eat anything in front of me. The air one on the other hand has been devouring as well as our beautiful tiger shovel nose catfish, which is right here. He's super, I mean, insanely active catfish look at that face <gasps> that face what is up he's got a lot of personality he needs a cool name but super active guys so what I ended up doing I don't know if you can even see this here let me uh let me zoom in a little bit you can see down there we have ghost shrimp I picked up a couple dozen ghost shrimp, kind of like, okay, let's see if he'll eat this. The stores were all out of feeder guppies. So I was gonna buy, I was gonna put a big pack of feeder guppies in there. Cause if you've seen tarpon in the wild, they like to crash through schools of bait. So that was the, the next method I was gonna go with because when I put mosquito fish in there, he started trying to crash through them so that we were making some headway. Put the ghost shrimp in there, he didn't touch them. So today when I got put all this brand new substrate in here, I went in and took a bunch of the shrimp out. You'll see where they are in a later video. But a video or two ago, I don't quite remember, I told you that we picked up a new fish that was in this 150 gallon. He wasn't showing his face, he was really shy. So I told him I'd introduce you in the next video. Turns out, I'm almost positive that that new Oscar is a male or a female and my other one was a male or a female. Basically, they were opposite sex because they started showing breeding behaviors, typical cichlid breeding behavior, and they started nipping at my tarpon's fin, which I had to shut that down as soon as I could. So they're actually moved. Their tank, their new tank is super cloudy. They just got a substrate as well, so you can't really see anything in there. Um, so I'll show you that in another video, but th this is where we're at right now. So I'm super thrilled with how things are going, even though we had the little nipping problem, it's you know not a big deal for me. Um, this tank is up and ready. We actually built set this tank up for the fish that lives in my filter directly under this tank. You're gonna see that here very soon, but I'm super excited. We have three mini monsters that are gonna grow into absolute monsters that are gonna go into our mega pond, and I'm just loving it. I love that I have a tiger shovel nose with all this personality, so active. 
very active tarpon, and you can see the silver arowana. I mean, he is packing on size like nobody's business, and his fins just look incredible. Like, look at those fins. They look amazing. Amazing. Um, but guys, a lot of amazing things to come, so um, if you haven't subscribed, smash that button, and uh, leave me a like because I love it. So uh, I will see you guys on the next video.